Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Nobles, uh, thank you uh, for your testimony today. I, I can't imagine. I have three daughters, 22, 17, and 10. I, I can't imagine what you and your family have been going through. And, and like so many other families across the United States, I, I'm just I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Um, Chief Rodney Scott, uh, thank you for being here. I had the opportunity to review the case file. This is the case file on this, this murderer, this, well, I'm going to stop with that. On this alleged 17-year-old unaccompanied alien child who brutally killed and raped Kayla Hamilton. I know you're familiar, sir. You're familiar with the intake forms. Record of deportable, inadmissible aliens. This is the form here. So I'm going to walk through a few things that I noticed that I saw on this form that this, this bad hombre said his intended location was Texas. And as we know, he then went to Maryland. He didn't stay in Texas, didn't stay there very long. This bad hombre said he had no funds in his possession and that his father was his method of support. And as we know, he somehow was moved to live with his aunt. This bad hombre said he was claiming credible fear. Credible fear like everybody up there. We know that a majority of those claims are unsubstantiated. I think it's about 10% but later said on his HHS Intec form that he had come to work. So he's a liar. He's a bad hombre and a lion one at that. The UAC said he had no prior criminal history. No prior criminal history. However, after his arrest, Maryland law enforcement, think about that. We can't count on the federal government down at the border to make sure that the people entering our country are, are decent people that, that don't have criminal records, but it took local and state law enforcement in Maryland one phone call to El Salvador, that's it. Psh, get on the phone, I call El Salvador. I said, hey, let me ask you about this bad hombre that entered our country. Was, did he, has he been arrested? And they say, oh yes, oh yes, sir. He's been arrested in El Salvador in 2020 for his illicit association with MS-13 gangs. Couldn't figure that out down at the border. We gotta find out after he kills and rapes and murders a young woman in the United States. He said he was 16, he wasn't 16. Had no pro form, you don't, you need to prove your age. You just say, I'm 16. Well, we were in a case here a couple uh, month or so ago about the gentleman that comes through, he claims he was uh, UAC, he goes to Florida with his caretaker and butchers the guy in Florida. I saw a picture of this guy, he had more chin whiskers than the witness next to you. He's 25 years old, he came in as an unaccompanied alien child. How does that work? How does that happen? How or why do we have more safety guards, safety rails down at our southern border? So we were able to establish this man or chief, any of the 380,000 UACs that have entered since Joe Biden took office were under the age of 18. How are we able to determine whether they're actually truly under 18? We really can't, sir. That's where a, a seasoned professional agent comes in when they interview them, a lot of those inconsistencies you talked about come up in the story immediately. But the chaos that we have on the border today prevents the agents from having that amount of time. Yeah. The administration is yelling at them to process and move them down the assembly line as, po so as fast as possible. So when the Secretary Mayorkas gets on front of the camera and lies to the American people every other day, if not daily, and he says these people are vetted, is that a true statement, sir? They're vetted against a blank sheet of paper. There's no global database to vet them off of. Yeah. What kind of a border check, what kind of a background check is done on, on these individuals? They're ran through a United States government, well, NCIC, which runs through criminal databases. But unless the individual's been in the United States, committed a crime here before, yeah. it's not going to be in that yeah. system. Yeah. You know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. This is number three, I think, third hearing on the, on the border. All Joe Biden had to do when he was inaugurated on January 21th, I, I sat there, I went there, I respect the office of the president. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. He didn't have to say anything about our southern border and we'd be a much more safe country today. March 12th, 2021, I have a report, hold it up. Following a reassessment, the C, uh, DCD director terminated Title 42 with respect to unaccompanied alien children. If I'm understanding this correctly, is it true that for the last two years we created a blanket waiver to allow anyone claiming to be under 18 in the United States despite their criminal records or gaining affiliation? Yes or no? 
I believe the gang affiliation, yeah. if they know they could still deport them, but for the most part, that... Parents, yes. let's be clear. MS-13 stands for Kill, Rape, Control, and Joe Biden and Secretary Marcos are allowing potentially 30-year-old gang members into our communities, into our schools, and around our kids where they will do the exact damn thing they did to Kayla Hamilton. Shame on them, and we must hold them accountable. I yield back. Uh, for what purpose does the gentlelady from Washington seek recognition? Mr. Chairman.